Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about Go Animate for Schools, how to make a simple video and a more complex video. To begin, you're going to start in the upper right corner and click on Make a Video. Once we click on Make a Video, it's going to show us many different options for themes that your students can use when making a video on Go Animate for Schools. The first couple are um, the ones that you can use with your older students or your more experienced students, they allow you to choose backgrounds and characters and make your characters do a number of things and add props. We will get to those in just a minute. First, we're going to go down and use one of our uh, more standard templates. We have a wildlife template. We have basketball fever. And here we have a pirate template. Let's click on the pirate template and I'll walk through the very simple um, template that you can use with your beginner students or your younger students. So they give us a quick um, set of instructions. We click Next. Once this comes up, we can choose our setting. There are many different settings. Let's say probably about five that your students can choose from. Now with these simpler settings, they do come with music and a little intro and a little exit. Um, let's choose that one and click Next. Next we're going to select our characters. They do have a set of characters that your students can use. So almost previewing the characters helps your students when they're um, making their story to go with their video. Some of them are a bit creepy, but I just want to remind you that Go Animate for Schools is um, appropriate for schools. They do not allow inappropriate items such as guns or um, drinking items on there. So it, you should never have to worry about your students putting anything inappropriate on their video. So let's click Next. And then we're going to type what we want our people to say. So let's say that they got left behind. I think we were left behind. Now here you see there's uh, an actor button. You can switch it. So if she's the one who wants to start, you can do that. Um, an emotion button. So if he's sad or happy or angry, we can click on that. So it does give us a couple of options. And then our voice. We can switch our voice. There's many different options for that. Let's make him a little more American. You do have the, also have the voice recording option, so you can record your voice if you want. But we'll do the text to speak. It's kind of fun. So our characters are going to add what they want to say here. What should we do now? Did you bring pizza? Now let's say that's our that's our story. We're gonna go down, we're gonna go down to preview. I think we were left behind. Yes, I agree. What should we do now? Did you bring pizza? So as you can see, that was a very simple video. Um, an easy beginner for your students. If you wanted to add more to that, you can click the back button. It'll bring you back to your lines. You have 180 characters per thing, so they can have quite a conversation if you want um, to preview it again. You can click on preview, and if you want to just save it, click save now. It will have you add a title, and if you want a description, you just type in a description. So we'll do save and go to video page. And here it gives you the option to post to the group. If you have a group set up for your class, they can do that. But I don't have one set up today, so I'm just going to click Cancel. And it will give me my video. I can watch it just by clicking the Play button. I can go down, and I can share or export my video by clicking on there. You can export your video, or you can use an embedded um, code. So those are your two options. 
You can edit at any time and you can always delete your video if you do not want it anymore. Now we are going to make a little bit more of a complex video. We're going to simply go up to make video, click on that. Then it's going to give us all our different themes again. As you can see, business friendly, I'm allowed to change the background and the characters. So let's click on business friendly for today. It does take just a couple of seconds for it to upload, but once you get there, you'll see the screen and all the options that we have. You are able to change the background, the characters, the props, insert word bubbles, and music. Once we're in business friendly, you can see the layout. Now we can do a scene by scene on the bottom. You can add an introduction. So we could add on our title. We could put Go Animate. Double click the tutorial. Now that's our first scene. If we want to go add another scene, we're going to click on Add. But I don't want it to say the same thing. So I'm going to go up here, click on Office, where it gives us different templates. Let's go down and see what we have. Let's choose this one. Once I click on that, it's going to insert that into the next slide. You have the option to move the props, the desks, the people, simply by clicking on them. Now if I want him to do something special, I clicked on him and I can come over to the left side. You can click on Actions. And you can choose to have your character do different things. If you hold it, put hands on hips, put hands in pockets. There's many different options. I think he's fine just sitting right now. You can add the dialogue. You can do mic recording, upload a file, your library, or text to speak. Text to speak is really great for the students because they're able to put their words down and have the characters say them. And you're also allowed to enter and exit your person. I think that he'll be just fine sitting in the desk for right now. This is going to be my first scene. I'm going to add another scene by going down, clicking on the plus button. It will duplicate the scene for me just how it is. And now I want to add another character into our scene. So I'm going to go up to characters. I'll wait for them to load. Let's choose this man, basketball player. Now if I click on my basketball player, I'm given the option of swapping. So swapping means to turn him one way to the other, but he, hold on. I'm given the option to swap. I'm given the option to add movement, to flip him. So if he was facing right, I could make him face left. Um, bring forwards, which he is right now, or bring backwards means he's behind the desk. Let's have him in front. And then we can delete him if we don't like what he's doing. So let's move our character over just a little bit. And then I'm going to go over to enter and exit. Add enter motion. So we're going to have our person enter. We're going to click on um, horizontal. This. That's not what I want. Slide. We're going to have them, there we go, we're going to have them slide in to the right. We're going to have it go for, say, two seconds. So it takes them a while to walk in. And at any time during your video, you can preview it by going up to the upper right-hand corner and clicking Preview. Now, that's not what I wanted it to do, so I'm going to go back to Editing. I must have been clicking on the desk, so let's go back to Edit. See, I did. I clicked on the desk. So, I'm going to, let's do that. Let's not have them come in. Um, let's pause for, let's delete that, I guess. But then I deleted the whole desk. So you know what I can do is I can delete that whole slide and start over. Pretty simple. 
it's pretty user friendly. You make an oopsie and you go back and you just fix it. So let's add our character again. Now let's this time make sure that I'm clicking on this character when I want him to move. So let's have enter exit. You can also choose in actions. They will have walking, which I notice is the easiest way to have him come in. He does a lot of other poses. It's kind of funny. So let's choose enter and exit. We just add enter motion, slide. We're going to have him slide to the right. And then we're going to have, and we can have that after previous or with previous. So let's do dialogue. We're going to have him say, have you seen my dad? And you see here his voice is male and it's English, so that is fine. Have you seen my dad? Then we're going to add that voice there. And then we can do a new slide, which everything will be the same. We're going to click on the office person and we're going to have him say something back. Have him say, no, I have not. Now, the capitals and lower cases to me haven't seemed a problem, but if you have semicolons or backslashes, no, I have not. it will say that. So be careful with those. That voice is fine. Now, at any time again, we can preview it to make sure that it's working so that we do not um, have it messed up in the wrong spot. So previewing is unlimited. You can look at it, go back. Have you seen my dad? No, I have not. And so if your students were happy with their videos and done at that time, you can have them click Save Now or go back to editing. I think we'll go back to editing really quick. And now I'm going to show you how to put in a few props. If you want to put a prop in, you just simply click out of your person. You're going to go to Props right here on the left side. And like I said before, there are many, many school appropriate props for your students to use, so you should never have to worry about them finding something inappropriate and inserting it into your video. So they would just simply click on the prop, it goes in there. Once you click on the prop, you can make it enter, exit, you can make it bigger, smaller, just by clicking and dragging and moving it. So it's a really, it's a really fun tool and your students think will really enjoy it. So there again, bring forward, there again, bring behind. Now with this Go Animate theme, you do have the option to put in music. So you'd simply click on um, music here. And then you can press play and add it into your... Now if you were to go down on your screen, it shows the music below. It's not showing it for me right now, but there is a, a part down there where you can see it. So music can be added and taken away at any time. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I hope that your students have a fabulous time making a video with Go Animate, and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much.